We have with us uh, Malcolm Poynton, the global CCO of uh, Chale. Uh, you know, they've done most of uh, Samsung's award-winning work and yet they are not an in-house agency. Uh, hi, thank you so much for joining us. Anita, great to be here with you today. You know, we've noticed over the years, uh, Samsung's, a lot of Samsung's work uh, has been uh, focused on uh, improving the lives of people with developmental disabilities, uh, differently abled uh, people. Uh, was that a very strategic uh, plan or it just happened to fall in place over the years? Did you really want to go in that direction always? I think it comes from uh, perhaps a couple of factors. One is that uh, Galaxy, part of Samsung, which is the mobile brand that most people will know, mm -hmm. really centers itself around openness. And of course, openness brings with it a fantastic opportunity to really open opportunities to all people in the world and you know there's dimensions of it that are to do with the product mm -hmm. uh, in terms of an open, open ecosystem but there are other parts that are to do with making opportunities for people through what the technology can enable and so I think that you know openness comes to life in, in many many ways mm -hmm. one of the most powerful ways that I think we all recognize is you know technology with purpose mm -hmm. can make a big difference in this world okay. and it's something that really separates Galaxy and Samsung from its competitors is oh, this commitment which has yeah. been ongoing for more than 10 years mm -hmm. to really uh, enable people in the world through technology so use technology with purpose behind it to create a more open world and, and the best part about uh, Samsung and the work that it does with uh, in this, this line is uh, purpose connects with the brand very, very well. Unlike yes. a lot of other brands, we just do it uh, maybe for the sake of doing and it without yeah. any brand, real brand connect. Yeah. So that, that's that's one thing which is fantastic. Uh, another thing is you're, you're a fantastic example of uh, uh, agency, an in-house agency which came out of the shadow of the mother brand right. and uh, are working with so many more non-competing uh, brands. Tell me at this point, what is the breakup of business between Samsung and you know the business that comes from outside of Samsung? Yeah, look, I think we have a, an incredibly healthy balance of, of business. Mm -hmm. um, globally, for sure, you know, I would recognize that that, that balance is different in different countries, uh, mm -hmm. depending on our, on our relationships in those markets. Mm -hmm. But definitely the global balance is very healthy. And I think like any strong agency, we, we do still have a lot of pride and a lot of attention around our foundation client. Mm -hmm. And that's a very appropriate thing. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, we're very blessed to be on a journey with one of the world's biggest brands. Mm -hmm. Probably, I would say, contributing the most of mm -hmm. any of the big brands to our global society. So that is always going to be very important to us. Okay. And but, but having said that, please tell us which are the other global brands that you're working with. So uh, we work with Adidas globally, which mm -hmm. is you know a very big piece of business for us and an exciting piece of business across many different aspects of that brand. Uh, and we also uh, work with brands such as uh, Little Caesars, who are growing and spreading across markets, and that keeps us really busy at the same time. More. Locally, perhaps, okay. uh, within India, you know, we also work with ASICs, mm -hmm. uh, we work with um, uh, JK Tires, okay. and of course these complement mm -hmm. uh, Samsung, and there are many other brands such as MG Garages that we work with as well. Okay. You know, I was going through this uh, article by one, by one international publication where you had shared uh, the 10 best uh, global campaigns that you are putting forth at right. CAN. Uh, and five of them were from Samsung. Yes. So would you really say that, you know, Samsung gets the best out of Chael still? <laughs> uh, yeah, absolutely. And I would say that <laughs> for me personally, this really matters, right? I think, you know, we do our best work on our biggest client is mm -hmm. what I encourage of all of our teams. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a responsibility we have to this fantastic brand that we are a partner with Samsung. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, for me personally, if I go back in time, it's what I've always encouraged at MNC Saatchi, our best work came on British Airways. At okay. Saatchi and Saatchi in Australia, our best work came on Toyota, our biggest client. You mm -hmm. know, at Ogilvy, when I led in the UK, our best work came on our biggest clients, which were Unilever with okay. Dove or with Hellman's. Mm -hmm. And our, our second biggest client was just Cancer Research UK. Mm -hmm. And this is true of the journey we've been on with Samsung, mm -hmm. is that, you know, we, we put more work into the world for Samsung that gets more recognized than any other agency because we really believe in the brand 
and we partner with a brand so closely mm -hmm. that we're able to ensure that we do our best work on our biggest brand. At the end of the day, I think that's the best for business. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And you know, you have a proven track record, I think, beat, uh, at Ogilvy or Saatchi and Saatchi. You really won lots of awards there. Uh, but I really want to understand from you, how, uh, how would you differentiate Chell from the other big agencies that are competing at Cannes? What is that USP, really? Yeah, I love that question for a couple of reasons. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, a few reasons, actually. I think, first of all, of all the global networks, we're the only global network that's born this century. Mm -hmm. We don't have the legacy behaviours of traditional agencies entwined in media buying operations and mm -hmm. dependent on that, right? Mm -hmm. So we are incredibly agile and we can shape shift around whatever is changing in the market. So that's mm -hmm. one aspect that differentiates us. The second that I think is really exciting for us is, you know, we're a network from the east. Right. Not right. from the West. Exactly. Yeah. And I think that our attitude and our thinking is very different because mm -hmm. of that. Right? And I think we're more we're more um, I think we're more open to more what the industry would call different kinds of approaches and thinking. And again, just coupled perhaps from traditional media, we will mm -hmm. think in any space or direction that's gonna connect a brand better mm -hmm. with the consumer. Mm -hmm. And I think the third thing is the way that we've grown up with our our foundation client Samsung, it means that across the network, mm -hmm. mobile and innovation and connecting brands with Gen Z is in our DNA. Okay. We're not trying to find out how to do it, it's what we do. Hmm. And I think that's a really unfair advantage in many <laughs> cases because hmm. it's just naturally running through who we are. I, in fact, I was going to just ask you that, you know, unlike the other uh, network agencies which are headquartered in London, Paris, uh, right. the West basically, yeah. and uh, you are the only one, I think one of the rare agencies which is uh, actually headquartered in uh, uh, South, uh, in Asia, yes. in, in yeah. Seoul. So is, does that really give you a competitive advantage with regard to, you know, as far as uh, tapping this uh, booming Asian market is concerned? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I think yes it does. I think it also brings with it something that I would say is incredibly important and that is a, a level of energy and excitement around opportunities mm -hmm. that is different than how people are when they come through the training that they do in mm -hmm. our industry in the West. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, it's, it's actually quite fundamentally different how our teams approach things uh, with, our, with our offices in China, India or Seoul, especially our three big offices mm -hmm. who produce a lot of our fantastic work in the world. Mm -hmm. We think of how we solve the problems just very differently. And I think because of the things I said previously, we're unencumbered by this traditional give me 30 seconds of film, give mm -hmm. me an out of home poster. Mm -hmm. right. uh, and we're very much in touch with what is reaching mm -hmm. and connecting with this generation that are so important to us today. And uh, let's uh, hear a little bit about the Indian market and what it means to you. Uh, well, the Indian market is really important to us because, you know, as I say, our three biggest markets are India, mm -hmm. uh, South Korea and, and China. But I think there is something also really important to us around India and it goes far beyond the conversation that most people have around Samsung, which is mobile. It goes to mm -hmm. all things that Samsung contribute. And when I look back at the contribution of the brand in India and the commitment to India, and I think of the amazing things that we've done from um, tech school for girls, mm -hmm. from you know servicing the rural uh, part of India, mm -hmm. to things like Good Vibes with the world's first interfaceless mm -hmm. app for deaf blind people. Yeah. These things could only be mm. in India. And I think, you know, things like service van, building those service vans to service a rural community, it's in step with the government's objectives mm -hmm. to support those people. When I think of, you know, tech school and, and um, the fantastic work we did around that, that's around educating the women in India mm -hmm. in technology, which again is another government focus. So I think what is special in that sense is that while we strive everywhere in the world mm -hmm. to make sure all of our work and particularly Samsung's work contributes to society. Mm -hmm. In India it manifests in a very special way. Yes, but we don't really have any proud. entry from India this year at Cannes. Is there a specific reason why? 
So I think things changed in the last uh, short term cycle for us and, and I'm really, really excited by the program that we have Solve for Tomorrow mm -hmm. in India, which really is, you know, um, a reality show that's happening today to solve the things for tomorrow. Okay. And it just so happens that that hasn't been wrapped up and framed in a way that would come to can, but I think the contribution to society in India mm -hmm. is significant. And so this show, reality show, Solve mm -hmm. for Tomorrow, brings in young contenders okay. to pitch innovation ideas okay. in a way that's kind of a mashup between, you know, Shark Tank and uh, perhaps also uh, an internship in a big organization like Samsung, to then invest in those winning ideas okay. that will help solve for tomorrow mm -hmm. in India. And so for us, this has been a, a huge program and it's hugely important. Um, of course, these things take a while to put together and configure in a way afterwards, which you would then <laughs> take to a show like Pam. But it's been a really exciting project and I think it shows a consistent commitment in what we're doing in India. Okay. And you have a new CCO in, uh, in India, Vikas. I yes. think uh, we're yes. really looking forward to what he does next year. Yes, exactly. And just, just one last question. Uh, you were the uh, first global uh, you know, network CEO, uh, CCO of uh, Chell. Yes. Tell me, in the past, that was in 2015 if, I'm, uh, right. if I have it correct. In the past many years, how have you seen Chell evolve? Yeah, well, we've evolved in, in really interesting ways because I think, again, unlike other networks, there are certain parts to how we evolve that are different. So mm -hmm. I think we've evolved at the speed of, of mobile innovation, at the speed of Gen Z culture. Okay. Uh, and I think that's a very different thing to others in the industry. But what that's brought with it is that we've evolved our creative product. Okay. And We've really evolved from, you know, kind of like having a mighty strength in soul that we do with creativity, mm -hmm. to then seeing that journey spread and we've elevated and, and managed to achieve the same things with India, with mm -hmm. China, with Brazil, with mm -hmm. the Netherlands, with Spain, with B&B, with McKinney in the US. Mm -hmm. And so really, you know, we've, we've brought a lot of our offices' offerings up to this level, which has had a significant impact on it inspiring back mm -hmm. the next office and the next office. Mm. So I think that evolution is continuing, uh, but it's happened actually incredibly quickly compared to our competitors in the industry. So mm -hmm. I think th that's the main evolution that we see is that our creative continues to evolve and our capabilities continue to evolve. So we continue to do firsts in so many areas like something we mentioned earlier, this advanced AI <laughs> within Galaxy products to suppress sounds for people with ASD, mm -hmm. or things as sophisticated as what we've done with the NKPA in Korea for Knock Knock, where we're yeah. enabling That's emergency a, calls. A big favorite here today. <laughs> Thank you, yes. And, and so I think these are demonstrations, and we look at Fast Frame in the Netherlands, which helped their Olympic athletes achieve gold using mm -hmm. Samsung technology. So I think these things are showing our constant evolution mm -hmm. at the cutting edge. We're not talking about AI, mm -hmm. we're implementing AI. Okay. We're not talking about uh, mobile innovation, we're creating mobile innovation. Right. And I think that's typical of how I see our, our continued evolution. Uh, but important with that is that it's in deep collaboration with clients. Okay. And we talk about something called Connect Plus, mm -hmm. which actually brings different disciplines together to do that. Mm -hmm. And again, that's another aspect of how we are different. We have specialisms in different parts of the world, okay. and we collaborate so seamlessly across those to enable great mm -hmm. things to happen. Looking forward to such great work and hoping that you continue to improve lives of people all around. Thank you Thank so you. much. It was a pleasure. Thank you. It's my pleasure. And here's to all the things that we can contribute in the future.